All right, guys, so I didn't want to do this question, so I'll just copy and paste the solution and tell you guys how to do it because I don't know how they found this solution, though. But that is how it works, though. It just somehow works. All right. So this question is projection area of 3D shapes. You're given a grid and you want to place one by one by one cubes that are aligned with the X and Y and Z axis. Each value has, represents the tower of cubes V placed on top of the grid cell I and J. When we view the projections onto the X, Y, Z, Y, Z and Z, X planes, the projection is a shadow that maps the 3D figure to a two dimensional plane. When you view the shadow, you're looking at the cubes from the top, the front, and the side. Return the total number of area of three projections. So essentially here is that based on this cube, there's in this picture, you're, you want to return the area from the side. The front, so this way, the side, and the top. So based on the top, we know from the top, it's four, four uh four cubes right it's four four squares based on the top from this side we know there's two two of these one of these and then uh, a big long of these so that's this side because they have you know this part in it and then the final side is this side which is this way is looks like that so I didn't want to come up with this solution so I'm just gonna copy and paste this basically from the top, the shadow, the shadow makes a one square for each non-zero value. From the side, there's it's the largest value for each row. From the other side, it's the largest value for each column. So the only way you could have figured this out is actually count, like, come up with multiple cases of squares and then count them up yourself. This isn't really an algorithm problem. This is just finding the pattern recognition. So you probably, I don't think this would ever show up on a, in an actual interview, but just in case, I'll type this up with you guys, okay? So we're going to get the length n based on the size, and we're going to have an answer starting from 0. Then we're going to go from 0 to n and pre-increment i. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to find the best row because that's apparently the Y value, best column, which is apparently the best Z value. And then we're going to go through every single column in our, every single column inside our array. So now once we do that, we're going to check, we're going to get the, make sure the top value is the top shadow. If it's greater than zero, then that means it's, it's the top shadow which is something that they figured it out but I don't have to, I don't want to do f draw multiple cases of squares then the sides apparently it's just the maximum best row based on each grid and based on each row value column that's what the sides are best column is equal to math dot max and this is best column grid J uh, they were they're swapping the act they're not swapping they're just going to the best possible column and then after that they add answer to e plus equal best row plus best column and then they return the answer so that's basically how you would do it I don't want to figure this out myself because this just doesn't I don't see the purpose of this there's no data structure there's no not really any sense of this but that's basically how you would do it why am I getting a compiler? Oh, I can't do math. It's not math.max and C++. It's just max. Okay, so that's what you, that would fix that. Let's submit the question. And it got accepted. So this is a dumb question. I hope none of this actually occurs in an actual interview. But Raycom subscribe. I hope, I hope this made sense to you guys. You would, ha In order to actually figure this out, you would have to draw multiple, multiple squares and just try to figure it out mathematically because there's no way you could actually do this just there's no complicated structure in this problem so yeah if you want to figure this out mathematically just just have multiple cases of cubes and just try to do find the the area from the top the left and the right and then you'll probably get the same answer but yeah that's all you have to do hey, rate comment subscribe check you guys later peace